Okay, so it's Meg again. Um, we're going to learn a bit, little bit about medical terminology. Some of this may seem redundant, um, but you're going to need to know some medical terms to start out as a phlebotomist, and you're going to always continue to learn um, medical terms as you're in the healthcare field. Um, I've been a nurse for quite a while, and I couldn't even begin to tell you all the medical terms that I've learned and all the medical terms I still do not know. So um, unless you're using them on a daily basis, it's kind of hard to determine, um, remember all of them, but um, always do your best and you always know you can look up whatever you need to, to make sure that you're performing the right test or you understand exactly why you're doing what you're doing. Okay, so as far as medical termini terminology is concerned, um, the word prefix means it comes before the root word. So like for instance, um, a prefix would be like per, which means um, like through. So I will give you at the end of this PowerPoint, there'll be a list of all the prefixes and suffixes um, of specific words that you should understand. Um, there's going to be a lot of them, so you're not going to need to memorize all of them by any means, but at least you'll have them. Um, so there's going to be, in medical terminology, there's going to be a root word which relates to the specific body part. Um, for instance, the root word, uh, a good root word is cardio, which refers to um, the heart. There's going to be a suffix, which comes after the root word. Um, a suffix you may have heard before is something like ectomy. Like an appendectomy means you've removed the appendix. So it's a surgical removal. Ectomy means surgical removal. And then just combining vowels is going to make um, words easier to say. So here's like a word analysis, a word analysis. Um, so you're going to have a word like electrocardiogram broken down into the root word and the suffix, um, and then hematology. So the suffix is at the end of the word ology. Um, so just look over that and try to understand it as best you can. You're going to have a root word combining vowels and then the suffix. And then again, in medical terminology, you're going to need to know the body direction terms, um, which we've gone over in AMP, or we will go over in AMP. So this will either be redundant or become redundant. Um, so the word ventral means the front part of the body. The word dorsal means the back part of the body. The interior is going to mean in front of something, in front of the elbow, in front of the knee. Um, posterior is going to be towards the back part of the body and the medial is going to be towards the midline. So the M, you can always say M for medial M midline. And then lateral is going to be towards the side of the body. And this is just a picture of some of those directional terms. Um, more body direction terms would be proximal, which is closest to the point of origin. So let's say closest to the shoulder Pro or proximal to the shoulder, which is close to the shoulder. Um, distal would be away from the point of origin. So distal to the shoulder would be like a finger. Um, the frontal plane divides the body into front and back portions. The transverse plane divides the body into upper and lower portions. And the medial plane divides the body into left and right. Median, not medial. Median plane divides the body into left and right. And this is just a picture of those directional terms.
Um, anatomical position is going to be the erect position of the body with the face directed forward, the arms at the side with the palms pacing, facing forward, and the thumbs pointed out. And this is going to be used when you're um, talking about or referencing a relation of body parts to one another, like the arm to the leg and the foot to the hand. And this is just a picture of anatomical position. Standing straight, feet shoulder width apart, palms facing forward, thumbs out. These are other these are these are other positions that you're going to need to know. Um, supine and prone. Supine meaning meaning laying on your back, and prone meaning laying on your abdomen or your stomach. And then these lateral recumbent positions are basically laying on your right side and laying on your left side. Um, like you would when you sleep.